Yeah, of course. Um, well, we, we're estimating that around 1.5 million uh, people are you know, in the general vicinity of uh, the area that's been affected by the earthquake and tsunami. And we're thinking that approximately 500,000 of those people um, would have been quite badly affected. Um, the main challenge right now is, um, is getting access to those people. So we're very concerned about um, certain key locations like Dongala. Um, we've not really heard much coming from there over the last uh, 48 hours. Um, and we've also heard reports of, of major landslides in a place called Sigi. Um, and so we're also very concerned about, about that as well. And more specifically, we know that children are often disproportionately affected when it comes to kind of natural disasters like this. You know, what's the situation for kids in Indonesia right now who are affected, affected by this? Yeah, obviously, being Save the Children, we're very concerned specifically about the situation for children. Um, so on the one hand, um, we're concerned about the psychological element, the fact that children, you know, have seen potentially their homes destroyed. Um, they've, um, they've then experienced sort of a, a number of tremors and aftershocks following that. Um, so they'll be very scared, very distressed. Um, additionally, we're hearing reports of children um, being separated from their families. So this is very, very concerning. Um, our team are on the ground now and uh, will we'll be on the ground today and they will be working with the government authorities and other actors to try and ensure that children are reunited with their families.